Now, Alex Dimitri Ardi is Alexi. Sorry, uh, Dimitri Ardi uh, joins us now as the New South Wales political editor for the Australian newspaper. My apologies for the mixed pronunciations, but Alexi, let's get to this here. What's the latest that you know about what's happening out the front of this church? Yeah, thanks for having me on. Um, my colleague Liam Mendez uh, is actually out at the scene filing for us uh, at the Australian. Um, and yeah, it sounds as if from from what we hear from Liam and from what we're piecing together here in, in our Holt Street office uh, at News Corp. Um, the situation is just growing and growing. Um, you know, from from an hour ago, the the horrific footage that we've now all seen of Bishop um, uh, the Bishop getting attacked. Um, it, it seems as if the alleged attacker remains in the church. Um, a growing group of people outside, um, gr seemingly growing frustrated or angry at the inst uh, at the incident and the attack uh, on the very popular, high profile bishop. Um, and more and more police trying to um, quell the tensions in the area there uh, and try, trying to ensure that this alleged attacker, um, from what I believe in the latest just coming in here, can they can arrest him and safely take him outside that church. And that is the waiting game that we're in at the moment here, whereas we spoke before with our colleague Evelyn Ray, who's uh, been part of the police force, Mark Mori, your colleague, uh, over at the Daily Telegraph, where that is going to be a situation about de-escalation, and if you've got a crowd of up to 2,000 people, is your sense about that tension, because I'm just trying to really ascertain here about whether we're at a moment where things are as tense as they were an hour ago, or whether there has been a little up or a little down, what's your sense about where we sit in terms of the tasks the police are dealing with? I think it's a very fluid situation. Um, and Liam, who is in the thick of it, is, is filing to us, filing video, giving us the latest updates. Um, it does sound as if, and I know um, Mayor Frank Carbone and I know fellow MP Daly, I believe, have both spoken to you today, this evening. Um, there's been huge calls from, from all the elected representatives of that area, urging calm, um, urging... Uh, to allow the police uh, of all different squads there to do their jobs. Um, I know that the other, um, yeah, all the elected MPs at the area, the majority of them are at the scene trying to keep social harmony um, intact. Um, it, it does appear to be um, that perhaps we've seen the uh, fluid situation where police, more police are gathering there, um, doing their best to to keep the scenes uh, under control um and, and yeah it's 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 one where it seems to be something that could could have kicked off but um police from my understanding from, from my colleague at the scene there um keeping it as under control as they can do yeah, and as we've been saying for the past few minutes, that is going to be a process that is frankly going to be uh, longer than shorter uh, because we need to make sure that, again, you know, police have got the benefit of time on their side to essentially wait parts of the crowd up, uh, uh, wait a part of them off. Um, and as people have been saying before, it's the different types of people that will sort of come and go from the situation, the ones that will be at the back of the crowd, that go to the front of the crowd in a series of agitations. Thank you so much to you and your colleagues at The Australian. We'll check in again throughout the evening.